In this week's episode, Halloween time has come to the parks, and it's earlier than it ever has been. Unfortunately, it just won't feel right until the summer heat is gone. The heat isn't gone, but most of the Halloween party tickets are. We tell you, and tell you, and tell you not to wait until the last minute, but you never listen. Oh well! Also, AP Corner sucks as usual. Hotel refurbishments, hashtag fat time with Michael, and more on this not-so-scary episode of the Mouse Pirate Podcast. I'm Anthony. I'm Diggs. I'm Tim. I'm Michael the Mogai. Welcome to Mousepire, your source for Disney, Star Wars, and everything in between. This is the podcast where both empires collide. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Mousepire Podcast. What's going on? Uh oh! The apprentice lives. What is this? You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Bring up me, Harley Joe. You never had a friend like me. Some imagination, huh? <laughs> made you look hola happy birthday whose birthday this time i don't know oh we don't know uh you know what i know someone's birthday is coming uh, it was darkwing duck's birthday just the other day oh was it yeah because that premiered like 25 or six something or years something ago years ago right right uh yesterday's it was, it was the x-files oh 25 years ago and i'm trying to remember because there was something else yesterday too but i just can't remember what it was a lot of things are celebrating their 25th anniversary yeah because a lot of things uh started in 1993 yeah like um well not me but uh my birthday's coming up oh yes yes, yes. and i'm gonna boo. oh wow boo to you too well i mean <laughs> in, in like two months but <laughs> i mean that's like saying my birthday is coming up Boom. Yeah, but mine's coming up in a matter of a two months. Two months? Yeah. Me? Yeah. No. Oh, November? your birthday's on Sunday. This Sunday? Yes. Oh damn, I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why I thought your birthday was in November for some reason. Dirty. Okay, well that reminds me because I have something for you that I've had for a long time. Oh, okay. So it, is it that AP shirt? <laughs> 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 <clears throat> it's a hat get it right all right so hey we're back in better than ever and michael the og bell guy's here yeah how long has it been i don't know too I, long i haven't uh, kept count damn that's too long <laughs> <laughs> so i had to come by because uh you know after we uh experienced halloween so yeah it was a must you haven't been on i think in like almost 50 episodes because i think you only been on once i think since the 50 or the since the 100th yes i think you were on one time after the 100th and then and that was here and then uh, you haven't been back since then. So yeah, it's been probably a quite. It's been quite a while. It's been a theme park summer for me. So yeah, he's been bouncing around <laughs> on the theme parks. Good lord! Uh, you, you, would th- you would think he was auditioning for Parks and Cons. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I hey, Sean. Uh, <laughs> Sean, if you need a representative for SeaWorld, Michael is available. Hey, I'm always there for some reason, and that's the park I do not like. Like I didn't want no tickets. I was like, yeah, but then my daughter, and then. He got hooked to me, so. <laughs> oh, your daughter made you do it? <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to get the, the zoo pass, because, you know, the zoo annual pass comes with the uh, safari park also. Yeah, it's it's worth the, it. The former wild animal park. So it, that one, I think, is worth it, because you get both parks. Oh. They send it, it was, um I think, at the ending of the Black Friday, and they had it until March, and they send it in the mail. Um, You get both of those for, like, 140 and that was a deal. Right. But once they... It expired. It went up to one sixty, which is still not which bad. Is still to be not bad. Yeah. I mean, that's still eighty dollars per. And the only the only negative thing that I feel on regards to this is that you know the zoo is in Balboa Park, which is free public parking, and Safari has their own, so it's fifteen dollars unless you upgrade to, 
I forgot what it is, a higher one than that pass, and then they... Yeah, they have a higher, one. like, gold pass or something. Yeah, that one. Because then it allows you to get on the, the Safari Park tram, I think, Unlimited or something. There's, there's something at Safari Park that you can do Unlimited that would normally be, like, an extra charge or something. I don't remember. Well, I don't know how that works because I see people going on the tram, but, I mean, just we'll wrap it up because we're talking about Disney, but, yeah, I mean... Oh, you the, didn't get the memo this podcast is turning into a san diego zoo podcast <laughs> yeah, it should be i mean there's, a, there's always something new there, i mean no, i bet you there's no other podcast that talks about the zoo uh but there's probably some cat in san diego that does but you know i don't think there's enough podcasts talking about the san diego zoo and uh safari park no <laughs> no but the trans unlimited for us so and 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 like um was the uh, skyway at the zoo is unlimited for us so we're good to go cool lucky check it out worth it so yeah hey uh we went to uh celebrate some halloween time at the parks on yeah. friday the opening of halloween time at disneyland resort and um you know what it was really really nice in the afternoon yes i was you know i got there about one thirty or so one ish one thirty yeah yeah and um it was nice you know we walked around before we start before we get into what we actually did we walked around the the there was like the lines weren't that bad for anything. Oh, the wait times were beautiful. And, I mean, there was not that many people there. It was just a nice day, of course, until 6 o'clock rolls around, and everyone's coming in, and it just got packed. <sighs> but other than that, it was a really nice day in the in the afternoon. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I heard it. I heard from other uh, sources that, yeah, it wasn't that packed, and I don't think the parking ever shut down on, it on, did on, on Friday. It did at night. Oh, yeah, in the evening, yeah, 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 <laughs> it did six. in the evening. Like around nine? No, yeah. it was like six. Uh, but yeah, I heard during the day, for the most part, it was pretty nice, and, which is weird because I had told you that I was expecting it to be more packed on Friday than Saturday because there was going to be two passes blocked out on Saturday. Right. And But everybody was available on Friday, but, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah, so we were just, you know, basically just walking around, checking things out. Uh, we went over to... Um, Paradise Gardens, and uh, just checking out the Halloween stuff over there. Then they had the show with, uh, you know, Coco. Yeah. And I didn't, actually, I didn't see the show. I heard it because we were sitting down just chilling. And my, I just figured, oh, you know what? i seen that already. I'll, I'll check it out later. <laughs> well, I didn't know they put Miguel into the show. So they have a puppeteer with Miguel playing the guitar. I saw pictures of it. I was like, oh. I think they had uh, posted that. Somebody had posted that, or they had a uh, Disney Blogs blog said something about it, but I'd forgotten. Maybe after I, know. I was there, because uh, I didn't see it, anything about it, and then I was like, damn. So next time I go, I'm going to check out the show and watch that. But, I mean, it was it pretty cool. It makes sense why the video cameras were there. Oh, right, 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 because we were just chilling, and we saw uh, you know, the video cameras, and they are about to film stuff, and... Now we know why, because they were filming the Miguel stuff mm -hmm. and all the Coco things. Dirty. Yeah, but it was pretty cool, and uh, we uh, have some bad times that we're going to talk about in a little bit, but I just want to, uh, we're going to start real quick about the Halloween parties that uh, no, and Halloween sold out today. Dun, dun, dun. Bye. <laughs> so Halloween is uh, sold out. And according to your official schedule of sellouts, that's right on schedule with last year. Right, because uh, Halloween sold out last year on September 11th. So, and um, the last date sold out, I believe, was September 14th, 15th, around there. So, I'm guessing the end of this week. We're getting close. By the weekend, everything's going to be sold out. If there's any tickets left on Monday, I'll be surprised. <laughs> but tickets are going quick. There's only four days left. So if you guys haven't got your tickets yet, uh, it's probably already too late. <laughs> it's a panic mode. I mean, that was the last, I would say, week since you posted it, like three, four times. Everybody's like, I need to get my tickets. Hurry. Yeah. And then like, uh, was it Friday that uh, tickets sold out two days sold, sold yeah. out on Friday? Uh, and they were like uh, one date sold out. And then within an hour, the other date sold out. The very first date of the Halloween party finally went out. Well, when was that you were posting in... Uh you know, you posted one, I think, what, today and then, or yesterday, and somebody commented, oh, this date has also sold out. Right, right. That was, this, that was Friday, I believe. I think right. it was Friday or Thursday. One of those days, 
but two days sold out on that day. And like I said, it was within hours because I just posted it and then uh, I was told it was sold out. And then I like, wow. I was so, like, why are you reposting stuff in my group? <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, if you guys haven't got your tickets, uh, well, you know, you're going to be out of luck and by all that least, kind of stuff. By Monday, we count. I'm thinking by the end of this weekend that we're going to be sold out. But we'll see. I mean, if you guys are planning to go, hopefully you already got your tickets and everything. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, real quick. Um, hey, Anthony, did you know that um, someone was offended by one of my posts? I saw. Is I, that the one I missed? I, oh, the miles wait, 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 wait. You have to be more specific. <laughs> oh. there, there's been multiple in the like in the past week. Well, I posted that Tuesday. There I, was one where you called somebody stupid. Okay, no, I did, you, you said a blanket statement about stupid people. Okay, I'm going to talk about it right now. So I posted that October 9th is sold out, and I that I already saw people posting in Disney groups asking for ticket. I said, "Funny, they've had since June to get them. People are stupid." And that's what I said. Right. So this one person decided that she was going to just had to tell her side or just had to say something about uh, me calling people stupid is rude and uncalled for. And I basically, I said, well, obviously you don't listen to our podcast. Cause we'll call everybody stupid. Exactly. And, um, whatever. I just thought it was funny that she got butt hurt over it. Another person got butt hurt, hurt over it. There's always two. Cause there's always a friend. There's yeah, exactly. So all I know is, um, Hey, if you're waiting and you've had till June, then you're pretty stupid if you're going to try to get tickets from somewhere else. Well, and we've literally talked on this podcast every single week about how, oh, the tickets aren't selling behind or they're not selling ahead. Uh, Why are tickets still available? It's this time already. We've been saying about how we felt like the tickets should have been selling faster. Well, now that they're selling fast, people are complaining, even though we've been saying that we felt like they were going fast. Well, which is it? Are they going faster or aren't they? <laughs> All I'm going to say is uh, if you are following our Mouse Pirate page and you don't listen to the podcast, then you shouldn't be there. Because if you're going to uh, get offended. If, they're, if they only follow the page, they're not hearing you right now. So I, I know, I know. But that's my point. You know, they're not listen, listening to the podcast. And we're going to say what we say. And people who do listen to us and follow our page, they already know that we're going to call people stupid. They're the ones laughing. <laughs> exactly the other one's laughing anyway i just want to get that off my chest because that was kind of bugging me they're stupid okay no it wasn't i mean not, me. yeah, not even if you listen to the podcast just the history in the last three years and the, the fact that they extended it earlier and you had time even my three dollars had to save what every two weeks three dollars and i finally made a payment you guys should have been on top of that one so yeah get your tickets if there's any available by the time you hear this if not then um only we'll four let, days left. We'll let you know uh, how it was. <laughs> I'll be there on September 19th. October 2nd. All right. So we'll let you know how our experience were. And, um, yeah, hurry and get those tickets. Uh, real quick, let's go over. Uh, they have the AP corner over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, they have a, a pretty cool uh, photo op there. I'll give them that. It's pretty cool. They have like fog coming up and everything. <laughs> Let me just say real quick, I I usually don't take pictures. You know, I don't go for the photo op. I went to go get the button, which is really cool. Yes. And I don't usually do the photo op, but I said, you know what? I'm going to go do it. So I did it and I took my picture and everything and I still haven't got it yet. Still hasn't shown up. And on, that's not even a magic shot either. It still hasn't shown up on my, wow. uh, my thing. Um, you know what? And how long has it been since Friday? Friday. Oh, then yeah, you need to call and say what de- what time you were there because if you know Space Mountain and Magic shot, uh, Shots take a day, day and a half, maybe two. But beyond that, you should have got your picture already. Well, you know what? Uh, I have a f- one of our mutual friends, Vince. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a cast member, so he doesn't get the pictures, and he always sends us the number so we can get to download the picture for him. Oh yeah, I got it from him. Take forever. And um. He asked me one time, uh, did you get the pictures yet? I said, no, no, no. I don't know how long it was. And then, like, the other day, I finally got the two he had no for way. Space Mountain. It had to be over a week or so. Wow. So, yeah, I don't understand. I don't get it. I still haven't got that. 
There's another picture I haven't received yet that I'm really, really mad about. And anyway. Crossing my fingers for you. Yeah, thank you. So the photo op is pretty cool. There's a cauldron there with Oogie Boogie in the background. And uh, you can go take a picture there. It's pretty cool. Um, this week's button, though, is... Um, square. Well, it's not square. Rectangle. <laughs> Oh, there we go. No, I'll talk about the little AP button. Oh, oh the, the regular AP button. Yeah. Food and wine re- recyclable. Exactly. Purple <laughs> stuff. I don't get it because I did see a posting that Disney said that they were going to be giving a button out every week that was themed to Oogie Boogie. Starting Monday. It said Oogie Boogie. It yeah, was- that's what they said. Every week. And they're giving you the little AP button for this week? That's Turbo. the point. Well, you get the AP button this week and the and the Oogie Boogie button, though, right? I don't know. Oogie Boogie while supplies last for sure, but supposedly this is separate from the Oogie Boogie. Yes. I thought you were going to be getting both. No. We only got Oogie Boogie on Friday, and then starting on Monday was a new button, which was the little purple AP button. But from what I thought before that, every week was going to be a Oogie Boogie button. I'm pulling up the original post right now to get the no, exact wording. I read it. <laughs> I was going to say what? what kind of purple button and how often do I have to come back to try to get one of these and it said every Monday. And then they said the other one was just limited time, whatever right. supplies last. So right. if they don't have any, then they're just going to switch. Maybe because they felt bad because the last time hardly anybody got buttons <laughs> or not enough decals. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that. At least know. you know where your lids are going to. <laughs> AP button. There you go. <laughs> okay, it does say separate as separate bullet points. Halloween time themed photo op, new pass holder button each week, and then special Halloween time oogie boogie button. It's a separate bullet point. Well, that's that's not what I saw. What it, my the other thing I saw was different. It wasn't bullet points. It wasn't from the A or the Disney thing. It was another thing that said. Specifically, what I said, featuring a new. Was it the guy with the one with the guy holding the AP button? No, 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 no. Okay. It, 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 can't, it didn't come from any post that you've seen online. It came from somewhere else, but it was a Disney thing. Was it directly from Disney though? Yes, it was. Because there's probably there's probably a Disney Parks blog post about it. This was from Disney AP, so I don't have the actual Disney Parks blog post about that. If you got it from Disneyland today, you know better. <laughs> okay, I don't know where it's from, but it says taking place September seventh through thirtieth. Guests will find the AP Corner near, near Stage Seventeen in Hollywood Land and Disneyland California Adventure. The spot will include a Halloween themed photo opportunity, a special button each week featuring Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas, and more. See, well, that does sound familiar to me, like as if I read that, but it's weird because that's not the because I retweeted something else, unless. You know, the only thing I can think of is that they changed it. They, it's been done before, especially since uh, if the information that was originally written on the listing for the AP corner is, uh, has been, that is constantly updated. Uh, whatever you saw may have been what was originally written on there, and that's maybe what I read also, but it's possible that it's been changed since then and clarified because they, whoever does their, so, their not social media, whoever does the... Uh, you know, the uh, Disney website, basically. Could have been a lack of communication. But, oh, well, I don't know. So this week, you're getting a purple button that says AP, and yeah. if they happen to have Oogie Boogie buttons, they'll give those out. Yeah, so as far as we can tell, the Oogie Boogie button's a one-time thing until they're gone. But, so, the this week's AP button, which is basically the same as the ones that you get for uh, Festival of Holidays and... Food and wine, and going all the way back to when they were giving them out for free to APs, going into oh, yeah, parking. Uh, parking, was what they originally handed them out them for. Uh, well, this week, if you don't have purple, what is uh, it? Is it white on purple? Is it, what's because I don't remember what color the lettering was. I think it's white. Uh, white on purple. So if you don't have a white on purple one yet, uh, for all of you completists out there, then uh, look for that. All right, so let's uh, talk more about Halloween time in the parks. Uh, Anthony, guess who joined us for uh, Halloween time in the parks? Wasn't Michael the Mel guy because he was already there. Bubba? Wasn't Bubba. Oh. oh. 
Uh, Dan? No. No. Uh, uh, straws? No. What's the straws? <laughs> He's not gonna have. He's not gonna have a job pretty soon. I got nothing. It was Giselle the Gazelle. Oh, okay. Yeah, she joined us in the park. Uh, she uh, came in and she was lucky that she actually parked in the start in, in the parking structure right before they closed it because it was full. Dang. Because it was. Uh, she said, "I I just parked." And then she, I said, okay, well, we're in Tomorrowland because she was going to take the monorail in. I said, oh, cool, we're in Tomorrowland, so you can come and, uh, you know, meet us there. And then I was like, wait a minute. I remember uh, that tweet just came in saying the parking structure was closed, but then she just said she parked there, and she actually parked there right after the tweet came out. Ooh. So basically. Lies. Yes, exactly, lies, because she got in. She was lucky she got in before they actually closed in. She didn't get rerouted. But, yeah, she came to join us for some Halloween time. And um, it was pretty cool. We had fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we, um, we had some fat time. She, we ran amok. We ran amok. <laughs> I don't think she's seen Halloween at DCA before. She says, I think she said something about she didn't see it at night or, or something like that. So we went over there at night to go check out uh, DCA. Uh, we took her over because she never seen the headless horseman there. Well, thank goodness I said let's go get a trudeau at the same time. <laughs> so she never seen that. So she saw that. I uh, took we went to Cars Land so she can check that out, and we took a picture over there, and that's another picture that didn't have hasn't shown up yet that I'm really mad about because I wanted to post that. Oh, I know which one. Nah, we, we you, took that, a picture. I was wondering why you didn't post. Those yeah, yet. we took a picture in front of um, Ramones. Ramones. And in front of the sugar cars, and she, uh, uh, that picture didn't show up. I'm just like, you know, all of us were there. We took a picture, and it didn't hasn't shown up. You know what? Next time I need to go with, with say like if we go, I'm with you, I need to take my pass. Right. See if there's something different or just you. <laughs> because this guy over here was taking his own had his own photo shoot <laughs> over there by Radiator Springs. Yeah. He's over there, uh, erasers basically. Oh, my magic shot. Yeah. He was over there doing poses and everything, and then <laughs> the photo pass guy, why him to do another sh- pose? And he's like, I'm done. <laughs> he was about to go low and um, like high, and I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So, it was pretty cool. It was fun. Giselle was uh, happy to hang out with somebody. She uh, says she usually doesn't have anyone to go hang out with and everything. So we talked about her, her email last week. She said that, you know, she gave us a dirty award for not inviting her dirty. or whatever. So she heard the episode and knew that I was going to be there on Friday. So she sent messages back and forth and just letting know or asking what time I was going to be there and things like that. So she said she wasn't going to be able to get there to after work. I said, hey, we're not going to leave until after the park's closed. So you yeah, have plenty of time to come much. And meet up with us. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty cool. We had fun. And um, what else did we do? Um, we uh, did you guys go see Vampirina? Okay, yeah. I didn't. I saw her, but I didn't go take a pictures or anything like that. Because, you know, it's well, not, not, you... not going to show up anyway in my photo. Pack. Well, right. <laughs> no, no, no. I wasn't figuring on you taking a picture. I just was wondering if you went and checked out the area because i know it started also on friday and- yeah so we went over there to get the um the ap button and she was set up in front of the sunset showcase theater but there was people lined up there and i was like what's going on is that where she was supposed to be i guess is that where we oh originally- that was the line i don't think they they just said hollywood land they didn't say a pacific okay hollywood. i didn't remember what exactly it said when that announce was announced so there was a line there and i didn't know what it was for because, I mean, no one was there, or she wasn't there yet. So I was like, is there some kind of screening going on? Is this something I don't know about? And um, until later on, I asked Jose, and Jose said, oh, it's for uh, the Vampirina. I was like, oh. And then I looked over there, and I could see her. So, oh, you should have told me that. I would have went in line for that one. <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't even think about it. I actually it. just found out today. I just seen a picture. I was like, did I miss something on Friday? So Which, it, that's two things we missed. Yeah, so that's so she's right there in front of the theater, the entrance. That's where they have her set up. They might move her. You never know. She might be here in the corner. You never know where she's going to be. Whoa! But yeah, I <laughs> I I wanted to go over there and take a picture, but I didn't get a chance to. But yeah, she is in the park, and you guys can go over there and take pictures with her and all that jazz. And hopefully, your um 
picture shows up on your photo pass. <laughs> Dirty. Exactly. Other than all that, uh, Michael and I, we uh, decided we we're going to get, uh, we're going to use our Max Pass, like we said on the app, or the, we, like we said, like I talked about last week, we'll just go ahead and use it and leave Jose somewhere while we uh, <laughs> go on something. So we used it for uh, Ghost Galaxy. Yeah. And, uh, oh, something interesting here. So you know how you walk in? I don't know how long they've been doing this. I don't know. Probably less than two weeks, I would say. I don't know. So anyway, Anthony, you know you walk into the building and you make the right turn to go down the hallway and, you know, to get in, you know, you're in the queue line, right? Once you get into the Space Mountain building. Right. All right. Well, we went in and they, we went to the left. I've never seen this site open before. So basically what you're doing is if you go to the right, you turn right, you go down, you make a left, you make a left, and you go down, then you make a right, and you go back down, right? Basically going into the big old loading area. Right. Okay. This one, you go in, you go to the left, you go down, you make a little right and right, and now you're you're back bypassing you're line. bypassing this other queue line. Is it new? I've never seen it before. They have it working. Basically, they let the fast pass go through that way. Uh-huh. And they're blocking off people over here in the regular queue when you're in the building. So basically when you, I guess I would have to see it to totally understand what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. So just I'm just trying to think about I mean, is it like they knocked out a wall and created like a and to create a It's it looks like it's been there for a while. It looks like it's it's just they never used this area. Maybe it's an emergency oh. exit area. We just never pay attention. Because when you go in and you turn right and you go down and you do the U turn, yes. you come down. Yes. There's a first TV. You see. There's a hallway there. That's where the where uh, handicap come in. No, 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 is no. You, is that what you're talking about? No, no. This is way before that. Before that. It's way before. Maybe the does it connect to that now? No. No. So that's separate from that one you're that the one that goes this way, right? Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm talking about when you come back down after Crazy Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then on the left, in fact isn't that where the turnstiles are? Used to be back in the day. Turnstiles used to be there back in the day, I think. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Or there's another turnstile on the left. I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, this whole area is is just it's new to me. I guess that's where they have the fast pass entering. Like I said, once it's once they go down, they block this the traffic from the regular queue, and then you go and you just head all all you know. Yeah, uh, whatever that is, it's got to be new. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it is. I mean, I've been on, <clears throat> I've been on there you know a few times, but just not recently. I don't. Maybe they opened it up when they opened the new queue area that goes inside the Starcade. So. Right. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I was like, whoa, where are we going? Sucks for people on standby going in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I thought that was interesting. But, yeah, we uh, used our Max Pass for that. Got on the Ghost Galaxy. Uh, Michael enjoyed himself on there. He was, like, giggling like a little I got a good girl. corner, man. I was getting <laughs> tossed all around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Scared. <laughs> are you hungry? Well, they are. It's time for Fat Time in the Parks. So, yeah, fat time. Time for some fat time because we uh, had some fat time, huh, Michael? Yeah, you know what? I wasn't sure what I was going to get because I was starving earlier and I grubbed, but we definitely... Well, I mean, you've got like 15 churros to choose from. (laughs) Yeah, but a lot of them were gross looking and just just wasn't worth it, but this one was worth it. All right, so before we get to the churros, I just want to say that I use the mobile ordering Yay! for the first time. For a churro? No. Oh. No, it wasn't for a churro. (laughs) But we were in line for the photo op, for the AP photo op over there. And I was like, I already did my shot. I'm going to try this out. So I went, I ordered from the award wieners and I did all the ordering. I got a hot dog, I got a drink, and I got some funnel cake fries, the cookies and cream funnel cake fries. So I tried it. I did the mobile ordering for the first time and I was like, pretty cool, pretty cool. I went over there, picked it up. Got my food, and that's uh, while I was eating. That's where when Michael showed up and uh, to meet us. So we've talked about that hot dog before. Nothing to talk about there, but the cookies and cream funnel cake fries that they have right now for Halloween time, I like them. They're really good. But now, a- now, to be clear, those are the same funnel cake fries that we've had be- that were out before. 
now they're just adding cookies and cream, more dipping sauces, different dipping sauces, right? Well, no. It's just, what what it's came just, with it? What it's... came with them last before when they first came out? I don't know what they. Uh, oh, didn't they yeah. have like a brown sugar sauce or something? Maybe. I don't I'm, remember. I'm not sure. I don't but, remember. But they, they don't give you dipping sauce. Everything's on top of the funnel cake fries. Oh well, that's what I meant. Well, no, isn't there? I thought no, there was some that had dipping sauces. Yeah, there was some. Uh, I might be also thinking about the churros. Because there's Maybe. some where it's on it and there's some where it's dipping. Yeah. But um, this is basically the funnel cake fries with the chocolate on top, the, the chocolate syrup with uh, whipped cream and uh, Oreo cookie crumbles. I liked it, but you got that problem with the, the chocolate where it tastes like cheap chocolate sauce. Too much. It was a lot of chocolate on there. I actually didn't finish them. I was trying to get Michael to finish them for me, but, you know, I, I can't, you know, you know me, I can't be eating all that kind I'm of stuff. I'm not that starving. <laughs> but, I mean, they're okay. They're they're pretty good. I mean, not bad for a quick little dessert snack. No, it wasn't bad. I mean, well, when I saw the picture when you posted it what, the other day, I was like, damn, that's a lot of chocolate. No, it makes, it makes a lot of sense with that big pool we had, but. I mean, even though it was soggy, they were still good. Where was the still cream? Eatable. Where was the cream even coming from? You said there was whipped cream. It got marinated in the chocolate. <laughs> that's not how. That's not how you make cookies and cream. Is not chocolate and whipped cream, right? You are just so picky on stuff. Well, I mean, if you, it's not. But that's not quick cookies and cream. And the gray stuff that was cookies and cream. That's what they should have served it with. Was gray stuff. Ooh. I still haven't tried that. Oh, wait a minute. They did. Remember they had a gray stuff dipping sauce? No, I don't remember. It was at uh it was at Maurice's. Oh remember? For the, yes. For the for the thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the they should have had it with that. That's a good then idea. it would have been cookies and cream. That's a good idea. I mean, I can be picky all I want, but if you're gonna say something's cookies and cream, it should be cookies and cream. Well, it's cookies with cream, so it's cookies and cream. <laughs> Dirty. So it was really good. I liked it. Uh, I don't think I would get it again only because there's a lot. It's too much sugar and I can't be having all that. But I would snack, you know, take a couple from someone else if they were to get it. <laughs> a little smackaroo. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, let's get to the churros. The churro that I was wanting to try was the sour apple churro. That was on the list. All day. All day. I was waiting and waiting. Till 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a time when I could get the churro. So that's when um, G- uh, Giselle got there, and I said, hey, we're going to try this this churro. She says she doesn't like churros. We're like, well, then you can leave because if you're not- <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, actually, Jose said that to her. But anyway, <laughs> we uh, uh, the sour uh, sour apple churro is over in Tomorrowland. So we went over there to try it. Of course, all day long, like I said, it was nice. There was no lines. And, of course, when I go over there to get some, there was a line. Uh, I just have a question about the pricing. Are all those uh, those churros, the, the special churros, are they all the same price, or is there, like, a fluctuation in the price? Because, uh, you know, we've seen the churro, right? The standard churro is, what, four seventy five still, right? Yes. And we've seen the special churros go up to as much as five twenty five. Yes. Like, especially with the one, like, the, the s'mores churro and stuff, the ones that have sauce. So, where are we at in the... Uh... Well, the sour apple is five twenty five. Okay, so we're on the higher end. Probably and, all of those special ones and then are probably the same price. It was a dollar for the sauce, right? For the, oh, wait, so it's five twenty five plus another dollar? Yeah. For the, the caramel. Woo-hoo! So, anyway, I tried it, and uh, actually, uh, Giselle tried it, too. And it was, it was kind of weird because um, I'm trying it and I taste, you know, it's sour. By itself. Right. I tried it by itself, but I didn't taste any apple. I'm trying to taste sour apple and I didn't taste it. Nope. So you tasted it was sour. Yes. So you might as well have been eating one of these. Ooh. But once you dipped it in the, in the caramel and ate it, you taste the sour apple. That's weird. It well, it's all uh, it's all in your head. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't say that. The, it's a trick. The sour. The apple taste. Maybe is in, in the sauce. Maybe, maybe. 
maybe. <laughs> Dirty. They make you spend the extra dollar on the sauce because the apple and the caramel <laughs> flavor are actually in the sauce. <laughs> there ain't shit for apple flavor in the churro itself. That might be That might be <laughs> it. Hey, you know what's funny? When we got the other one. We found you out, Disney. <laughs> he ain't pulled no fast ones on us shit. <laughs> it, it's, it's funny because you know how when we went to the other one, it said dripping sauce. And they just dripped it. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> jump in the head. Don't, don't jump ahead. I ain't saying which one, though. All right. So, so I mean, it was all right. It was pretty good. I, I like sour stuff. I think the the sour watermelon was better than this one because you didn't have to spend the extra dollar for any type of sauce. I know. And I just want, <laughs> I just want to mark this moment that it's the first, uh, the first, uh, it's only been, what, about two years or a year and a half since we had the first churro that went over a dollar or that went over five dollars. Right. And now just less than time than that we have the first churro to the first churro is going officially going over six dollars for a churro now. If you want to eat it properly, of course. Yeah. Dirty. I mean, because even like the, 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 the even the s'mores churro is only five twenty five, I think, and that comes with the sauce. Well, you're jumping ahead too. All right, so I would not get this again. I was talking about the old s'mores one. But. Oh. I would not get this again because the other one was way better than this. The strawberry one, right? No, 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 no. No. Yeah, that one I wouldn't get. I mean, that was the first time tasting something like a Trudeau with uh, that type of uh, sprinkling on it, and uh, no. I mean, it was all right. I mean, I didn't mind it at all. But, yeah, I mean, I would have ate it, but it's something like I would have said, oh, you know, what a waste of money, but I'd be like, Giselle, let's go get a dough whip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next churro we, we tried was the s'mores churro that's over at DCA, over Ooh. at the, um, right next to uh, the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. And uh, Michael the Mill guy treated us to this. Rich with my ten dollars. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I I shouldn't say treated <laughs> us because he basically says, "Hey, break up a piece." He didn't buy us churros. <laughs> I was about to say, "How come you always throwing money around when I'm not there?" Be on three dollars. So there was four of us, and uh, so we basically tried to split it or whatever it was. Now, how much was that one? That one was five twenty five by its by itself. That's okay, it. so they it's the same s'mores churro they've had before at. Uh, Country Bear? No. This is, Hungry Bear? This is actually different. This is the, actually the way it should be. It looks in the picture. They actually put this stuff on the churro okay, there. Okay, so it's not just a bunch of dipping There's no stuff. dipping sauce or anything. But it's the same price? Yes. But so, it comes with all the same stuff, I assume, because it's actually porn on it instead of dipping. Well, you, you would think that the dipping sauce, you would have got more if you got the sauce with it right. instead of them drizzling it on there. Now... They are going to be cheap on this. Yes. Okay, because they started to drizzle the chocolate and the marshmallow on about three-fourths of it and say they were done with it, the right? The person before me. Yes. So Michael says, you can do all of it. <laughs> and the cast member said, do you want it on the whole thing? He's like, yeah. He goes, I'm prepared to get dirty. <laughs> 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 Wait, so you so are we to understand that they're not doing it on the whole thing because right. they're, because they're looking out for your well being as far as your dirtiness? Yes. They, I guess it. they're trying to make sure that you don't get hitting your hand full of the stuff, even though they wrap the the little wrap, wrap. the little wrap thing. <laughs> Liars. So <laughs> so yeah, they were stopping about three fourths of the way and then here you go. So Michael said he wanted the whole thing. So if you guys are gonna try the s'mores troll Make sure they are covering the whole thing up, you know, with the the liars, with the <laughs> different uh, drippings or whatever. Whoa! You just tell them I want the s'mores trudo dirty. <laughs> they should know what it is. I want it dirty style. <laughs> Whoa! I want it Michael style. <laughs> so anyway, this was awesome. It was good. I prefer this over the sour apple one. Yes, I would definitely get this one again. I knew that I was going to go over there and have this churro. So before I even we went even went over there, <laughs> I was over there in um, Buena Vista Street over there where they sell the fruit over there by the bathrooms and everything, and I got me a chocolate milk. So <laughs> the chocolate milk with the churro, the s'more churro went perfect with it. So I suggest you go grab some chocolate <laughs> milk on the way in. Are you lucky there were some because there was only what three four left. I think so, and no me- regular milk. So I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so it was good. It was really good. Like I said. uh, but then again, I only have a little piece, so. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then see what happens to get the whole one. No, is there there any did? reason why you tried that one rather than trying one of the other new ones? I mean, because, you know, though that one's been around. I know it's a different version of it. I mean, is it really that much different than having it the old way, or do you think it's better this way? I like it better this way. Because it gets, you know, because how much of the, did you have with the old one? You had separate chocolate and marshmallow sauce, right? I believe so. Right, so you could have probably, you could have made your own, basically, and had the whole thing covered, probably. And dirty. And dirty. Dirty. <laughs> All the way dirty. <laughs> so, I, I thought it was good. You know I'm just glad they're not trying to charge you more for this one. That was my concern with when you when you said that the that the Apple one was five twenty five plus another dollar, it made me concerned because you know the old one was uh, the 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 old s'mores one was they called it four seventy five plus fifty cents for the sauces. Dirty. That was how they were calling it. So I just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to try and pull a fast one and say a dollar for the extra stuff. But since they're already putting it on there. They, I guess they couldn't really do that. Well, they did try to pull a fast one on me, and I caught them. Well, yeah, but I only put in a <laughs> half on there. That would be like giving you one sauce. <laughs> Here's one sauce that's half chocolate, half marshmallow. <laughs> so I liked it. I would definitely get it again. It's a mouse fire must. Yeah. And the other one, uh, I still I need to go over the churro list to see which ones i need to try next i know there's a <laughs> maleficent one that's in uh town square i finally Ooh. saw a picture of that one somebody did you see it somebody posted it within the last day i think disneyland today or somebody actually posted a picture no, of that I, one. I saw a picture that they have on the cart oh, okay because you remember the the guide had what we thought was it but then i realized it was something else yeah i don't remember who it was that posted it but yeah we uh went over to um the Red Rose Tavern. Oh, yeah. To go see what desserts they have over there. And they have that Black Rose. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Some kind of, like, cake thing over there. It looked good. It looks really good. I really want to try that. I just, I was going to, I wanted to try it that night, but the line was pretty long. I'm like, no, I'm not going to stand that line just for this. So next time I get over there, uh, hopefully I will be able to try that. Did they have the motor uh, over ordering for that one? I yeah, I think so. Right, think so they should. It's called the Black Rose Dessert. It ha- is the one that has the raspberry compote, the uh, crushed center, dusted with uh, edible glitter. Ooh, so Your compote, crunch center, not <laughs> crush, crunch center. So probably has some something. I hate it when my center gets crunched. Yeah, it probably has some cookies, uh, crunch inside, and it's six ninety nine. So I really, that's what I, I want to try next. So I got to make a list and see uh, what's next on that for the Don't churros. Don't forget to check it twice. I always check my list twice. I want to say that I've been hearing none, no good things about the span, about the Masubi at uh, Bengal Barbecue. Really? Yeah, I've heard nothing good about that. Not surprisingly, considering it's already fake. And then... um. Michael used the mobile ordering for a dough whip. Oh, yeah, since they screwed uh, uh, us hidden areas in the back. Now, you cannot go back there. You're stuck in that regular line just like everybody else. <laughs> I wonder really why they did that. I mean, really? What? Why they just made it mobile ordering only in the back? Well, it's smarter to do it that way. For what? No, I know it is, but it, it's oh. funny because if you if you look at all the videos and all the... For- the cheats for the dough whip, everybody's going to go back and be like, I thought this was the back line, the secret line. Well, no. that's the thing, because <laughs> Jose and I were standing there while Michael was waiting for his uh, dough whip to be ready, and people were coming up. They see the line that's long going all the way yeah. to the side, so they started to go inside, and there was a, these couple that were standing there, oh, yeah. and, and there was like four, four or five people just standing in the line, but they were waiting for their order to be ready. And they were just waiting there, and then like uh, one of the persons went up to the counter, got their order, but the other people were still just standing there, and they're like, basically, why are they just standing there? <laughs> so then when they ask, they, they basically found out, oh, this is if you ordered through the app. <laughs> they're like, so they stood there for about. But I thought there was a sign, <laughs> a yeah. tiny, tiny sign, just like the old school no selfie stick sign. So basically, they stood there for about five to seven minutes. 
when they could have been in the regular line. I thought it was funny. I go, Jose, Jose, check him out. They think this is the right regular line. I saw that like when they walked up there and then they got denied, but I didn't know that they were the back. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 oh, fuck. now we went over this uh, I think last week or the week before about the about the mobile ordering there that we figure that it's only temporary. There's no way that they're gonna keep the uh, once Tiki Room reopens. There's no way. There's no way that that backside is going to be uh, the uh, pickup window anymore. And obviously, it lends more credence to the to the rumor that we heard about the dual whip moving over to uh, Tropical Hideaway, because then it gives them more room to have the dual whip over there with a regular window and a pickup window, rather than having it clog up over by uh, Tiki Room. That's true. Because there's no way that once Tiki Room's open, there's no way that it could be still where it is. What well, I mean, unless you just serve inside or you just say remove the move the the two Tiki's that are on the left side, say if the ramp goes out there, and then just replace it right where the hood is at. I mean, without knowing what the final uh, refurbishment of that left side is going to be, look like we don't even know whether the entrance is still going to be where it is. That's true. Because I, I speculated uh, sometime back when we first started talking about it, that I th- think that they're going to move the entrance altogether to the far left and you won't even be able to access the Tiki or the, uh, the you wouldn't have been even, even be able to access the, uh, the Dole Whip from outside unless you were already going into the Tiki room. I don't know if they'll do that because Dole Whip and Tiki room are just go hand in hand. Well, they do. They still would if it's, if it's in Tropical Hideaway. It's all, it's all part of the same aesthetic. We'll have to wait and see. Because right? I think they're they're figuring that Tropical Hideaway is going to be just an extension of Tiki Room. Basically, Tropical Hideaway I think is gonna is gonna is gonna connect uh, Tiki Room and uh, Jungle Cruise into one aesthetic. You're an aesthetic. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So over at the hotels, there's going to be some stuff going on over there with some enhancements. And stuff like that. First off, over at the Disneyland Hotel, the Tangaroa Terrace, which is over there next to, of course, everybody knows is next to uh, Trader Sam's. Yeah. Which uh, most people think of Tangaroa Terrace as just an extension of Trader Sam's, whereas I think it's supposed to be the other way around. But Initially, that's, that's what I thought it was. I mean, because it has its own... That's where all the food comes from, is from Tangaro Terrace. Yeah. When, with Tangaro Terrace cl- closed, those people hanging out at uh, in, uh, Trader Sam's aren't going to be able to get food anymore, I think. They're just going to get more waste. Or, is there, or, there, or are they still going to have the kitchen open for uh, like appetizers and stuff through the bar? I don't, know if the, I don't know if the appetizers were ever really through the bar. Or if they were only coming from because of Tangaroa Terrace. So if the money's there, they'll figure figure a way. Oh yeah, definitely. So that's gonna be closing soon. There's no actual date for that, but it will be closing soon and will reopen in early twenty nineteen. Wow. As Tangaroa Terrace Tropical Bar and Grill. So I guess they're just taking the name and making it longer. That's what it looks like. It's going to be a restaurant. 50s tiki inspired design which is what i already thought it was but whatever uh (laughs) it will remain the perfect tropical complement to the mid-century modern architecture of the disneyland hotel you can expect a new outdoor bar and refreshed patio serving island cocktails and asian inspired fare probably basically all the same menu it might have a few extra items i don't know uh new details will also be added to the exterior space including lighting fixtures made of colorful fishing floats and netting Tropical mural and bamboo accents. Ooh. Uh, you will also find a dedicated service window for various coffee selections in the morning. I wonder if that was there that part. Oh, and they also have a Dole Whip throughout the day. Yes. Uh, I wonder if the coffee part was added because of the... Uh, they originally meant to put the coffee because they knew that that Starbucks was oh, closing. Yeah. Which, of course, now, who knows, it may end up reopening, but uh, that Starbucks was closing. And, of course, you know, we've made fun of the fact that <laughs> the only reason that Starbucks was opened down there by the AMC was because the hotel guests were too lazy to walk all the way from the hotel to the uh, 
Starbucks on the east side of downtown Disney. Or that little one, little spot next to Goofy's Kitchen. Right. Which I, I heard the coffee and all that. The coffee, <laughs> the coffee house, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the grill itself will offer options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then the open air marketplace for quick bites. Can't wait. Now, from the picture, it looks like that, because, uh, you know, right now it only goes up to the one part. Uh, this looks like it's going to extend way over where that walkway yeah. is that most people use to get to the backside of <laughs> their water. Sort of, yes, yeah, the backside of water. I don't know if you did you look at the the picture. Yeah, you saw how it looks like it's going to extend way down. Yeah. Uh, that walkway, and so all of that area in the middle there by the water, uh, it looks like it's going to become basically part of the pool area, or that's what it kind of looks like close to the extend kind of uh almost into the pool area like as if they're gonna cut that back some of that brush that's over there yeah also yeah. so half pool people and half regular people now also closing over at closing soon we don't have a date at all also uh whitewater snacks someplace that we talk about quite often oh. will be closing soon and will reopen later this year uh no timetable on that so, who knows? Get your nacho somewhere else. <laughs> oh, you know what? This isn't, that picture is not the Tangaroa Terrace. No, it's white water. No, it's not that either. It's not? No, at the very bottom, guests of Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa will also be able to lounge in even more luxury poolside with a new pool bar oh, yeah. opening in spring 2019. Okay, that picture makes sense As you now. can see in the artwork above, the new pool bar will keep with the hotel's signature arts and craft design with boulder stonework and clinker bricks. So this is actually, this pool bar will be extending that whole section there uh, right across from Whitewater Snacks and uh, uh, the, the spa whatever the you know the spa that's right there next to it right so that stuff right there it'll extend that whole area where normally you can see through the fence into the pool area uh once this is built you probably won't be able to really Would you look be able through to there see it, like through the gap between um... well probably but i mean oh, okay. i'm gonna guess that once this this pool bar goes up that that wrought iron fence will go away in certain sections because it'll probably go right up to the to the walkway or something because you know right now there's a little pool bar yeah, <laughs> that is serviced through Whitewater Snacks. Now, this will probably still be serviced through Whitewater Snacks. Now, they mention it as a uh, as an afterthought at the very bottom of the article, and it says that will open in spring of 2019. I wonder if the refurbishment at at uh, Whitewater Snacks has anything to do with that. So, you know how they have that little itty bitty pool bar window. Right. I wonder right, if they're going right. to close that oh, down yeah. and make maybe make the dining room of uh whitewater bigger by getting rid of that little window or something or just get rid of the window altogether and just redo that whole corner and then they won't even uh that would be what i would think is because if they're gonna build this whole pool bar then they don't need to have that little one anymore and of course it's attached to whitewater snacks so they would have to close it now the did you say when they were closing which one both of them uh whitewater snack just says soon uh, okay, well, Water Snacks will close on uh, September 24th. Oh, okay, so we have a date for that. Yeah, and the other one's already closed. Which one? The Terrace. Oh, Tangaro Terrace is already closed. Right. Because it also said soon. Yeah, so those already, well, that one's already closed. Oh, this and... was released on the 5th, so yeah, this was almost a week ago. So soon's already happened. Soon's already happy for that, happened for that. Yeah, so Tangaro Terrace is closed. Don't expect to go back there until next year. White Water Snacks will close on the 24th. Uh, until then, between now and the 24th, uh, we're always talking about the uh, the hot dog of the month over there at White Water Snacks and how they don't usually tell you until about the 24th. <laughs> well, I think that they knew that they were going to be dirty if they didn't, and uh, they have actually announced the, the uh, hot dog of the month for this month, and it is a BLT hot dog. Ooh. And of course, that is bacon, and it is, looks like shredded lettuce, and uh, chopped tomato on that. So if you guys are a fan of uh, BLT Hot Dog, get over there and check that out before the 24th. Well, is that closing starting on the 24th? or is it Yeah, Sunday, the last... Sunday's the last day of the 23rd. Okay, so there you go. 
There you go. I'll there fire meet up. <laughs> and then just uh, just be prepared that when you go over there to the Grand Californian, that that area, probably that whole hallway, and then a lot of the pool and stuff is going to be uh, really uh, in a di- disarray over there, and walls and stuff while all that goes on. And then same with over there at the the Disneyland Hotel around the Tangaroa Terrace. And just be warned that getting into Trader Sam's is probably going to be a bitch. And uh, being able to have some place to sit is going to be a bitch. So have, have fun, fun Fernando. <laughs> Fernando. Have fun, Fernando, because we know how much Fernando and Dan like going to Trader Sam's. All Especially right. Fernando. Uh, also at the Grand Californian Hotel, if you can get through all the mess uh, in the walls and stuff, if you can get into the lobby of the Grand Californian, they have the uh, holiday cart set up early this year. Oh. Apparently, uh, you guys know how every Christmas holiday they have the cart set up there in the Grand Californian that has, uh, you know, uh, cookies, cookies, and, and hot, chocolate. hot chocolate and alcohol and rum chocolate, rum chocolate and stuff. <laughs> well, I don't think this cart is as big, or else they're not very. They're not telling you everything that they're serving there because all we got so far is that they have some uh, cake pops uh, that are Halloween themed. Oh. They look rather, uh, they look, you know, kind of on the bigger side. Oh, okay. I was wondering where that picture was from. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, I I thought it was uh, maybe in DCA. (laughs) I was looking for it. Well, you're (laughs) you're close. DCA is (laughs) hatched. So I'll be posting a picture of that in the uh, episode photo. So if you guys want to see what those Halloween-inspired cake pops look like, uh, my favorite one would probably be the mummy, which is wrapped in swirl white chocolate. Cool. Ooh. All right, so I got some news. I don't know if you guys heard this or not, but over there at um, basically Stage Door Cafe and the Gordon Horseshoe, there is no more mozzarella cheese sticks. <laughs> they had them? Yeah. Okay. And they had them for like a long time. I don't think I ever had them, so I'm not oh, going to miss them. They were really, they were, really good. I had they them were, once. They, they were, were big. Really good. In the beginning, well, I don't know about the beginning, but the ones I've had, they were like really, really big. Were they better than Applebee's? Um, I'm going to say yes, because they were like really big. They got you. big portions. Tasty, but then they went cheap. And got the smaller ones afterwards, but you can go to you can go over to uh, you were able to go to stage door and order them. They weren't on the menu, but the other side carried them. So yeah, we found out on Friday that they don't have them anymore at all, which really really sucked because I was looking forward to having some. That <laughs> Sorry, night. Jose. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so no more cheese sticks over there. So they're Dirty. not in. They're not in the horseshoe either. They didn't no. Even. They're so, they're gone. They're off the menu. They changed their menu, I guess, and they're not on. It looks like they cut it a tiny bit more. <laughs> yeah. So well, we were looking at the menu the last uh, couple weeks ago or something, and uh, they had added the, you know, one or two items for Halloween and or whatever it was. I don't remember what we were. Looking well, I'm at thinking now. when they because they added the um, the potato skins over there at the Gordon Horseshoe. Right. So maybe when they added that new stuff. They took out the other one because they also added the. They added something else that um, all the chicken wings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe when they added that stuff, they took out the mozzarella. So they, I just wanted to ask you guys about the. Uh, did anybody get their uh, poison apple mug? I got mine. No, there'll be enough. I just want to know where you've seen them so far. I've heard that they're at they the, are the, I've heard that they the are park. at the horseshoe. They're all everywhere. over. So there's plenty of opportunities that if any of you yes. guys uh, don't be stupid and go and buy yours at a cart, where you could instead where you could go into an actual restaurant and get a discount on your yeah they had them at, mug. they had them in Zocalo they had them at uh, Paradise Gardens. They had them in, on Main Street in between the gaps. They had them at every fruit cart, any soda cart. They well, don't buy it. Don't buy it from those if you're an AP, though. So I mean, they were all over the place. And, yeah, uh, I, had different variety of prices. <laughs> I got that uh, cocoa mug though. Michael got it. Oh, he, did you find that? Were you able to get it before it yeah, sells out again? They um, they actually ha- they had it over at um, the Cocina Cucamonga, 
they had display there and the the point of sale thing there. Yeah, I saw you comment on that post in. Uh, oh right, Tim's right, group. right. But then they they had them over at Paradise Gardens, but they didn't have any point of sale. Okay, they didn't advertise that they had them. Michael went to ask if well, they had them. That's where it was originally, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I went first. I figured they were going to be there. Michael asked if they had them. They said, "Oh yeah, we do, we have them," but then there was no advertisement for them. So. Yeah, I got that over there. Are they gone now? Have you heard anything? I haven't heard anything. From what I know, they got a nice stock. Zocalo sold out at... What time we meet up with my friend? I don't remember. Well, yeah, by the time we got the bangles, I would say it would be like 8, 9 maybe. And I met up with my friend because I got them for him because he think it was going to sold out. He went over there after. He got one more and there was only three left. But from um, both places said that they had... um, had a good stock, but I think Zocalo's went faster than anywhere else. I heard that uh, Golden Horseshoe still has uh, lots and, and lots of shoes. Right, the boots. <laughs> a lot of Andy yeah, boots. <laughs> a lot of boots. <laughs> they should uh, decorate it for Halloween and sell it as a Halloween boot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, they should sell it as, they should paint it black, paint them all black, and sell them as the, uh, as the Headless Horseman's boot. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Repurpose, man. Repurpose. Uh, we don't have any, uh, just real quick, we don't have a date on the cauldron, obviously. It's just, well, first we heard mid-September, and then now uh, the last post I saw, or the, oh, the cast guide for uh, Halloween time says uh, mid to late September. So uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully it's not going to be one of those. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be the uh, the Chernabog, the Chernabog sipper all over again, <laughs> where it doesn't come out where it was supposed to. It's time for Mouse Pyre's magical memories. Let's take a trip with the guys. Let's listen as they share their memories from their many adventures from the parks. Mouse Buyer's Magical Memories. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but I I got inspired to do one because of a post that I posted on Instagram or all the many, all the social medias about Bugsland being closed. Bye. Now, I posted this, you know, of course, I posted it on Instagram. And then, you know, from there it goes to Facebook and uh, Twitter. So I posted this, and then I actually got a um, comment from my homie, Miggy, who we talked about who just got married. And I was just like, I tripped out because I was like, he's never commented on any of my posts on Mousepire like a post or something like everyone else wait what was the post for again it was a goodbye to bugs oh, land. To bugs land okay right Same bye yes so he posted on there i was like wait a minute he's never posted here before and he posted a big basically a darth vader no <laughs> <laughs> and i was just like thinking about it real quick i'm like why does he even care until i remembered that when he was probably about 12 years old i took him and um we were over there, and he went in the water, started playing in the water. Yeah, Corey. And, <laughs> and <laughs> he got soaked. He was all wet, and it was the summer. Yeah. So it was okay to be all wet during the day. Yes, it was. But it was one of those days that where at night came, it was kind of cold. Oh. <laughs> and basically, it probably about 70 degrees, 70, around the 70s at night. And it was probably around seven o'clock or so. The the sun was already going down, oh. and he goes to me, says, "Hey, Diggs, when are we leaving?" And I was oh. like, "What?" He's never asked to leave early, and I go, "Oh, you must be cold," because he's still soaking wet from running in the <laughs> in the water. And um, so after seeing seeing him say no, I was like, "Oh, I said I was always I will always remember." Uh, when you got soaked playing in the water. So that's why he was like, no, because he remembers that time when we went over there and he got all wet. And it was actually during the time when um, the electrical parade was over there. 
Oh. <laughs> because we actually watched that parade too. But I knew he was cold. He was this little skinny little kid. So you Shivering. know so you know the oh, that that yeah. coldness is going through him. So I I did not going home, okay? <laughs> I am not going home. But I'm not gonna get him sick and have him shivering. Amen. So I went and bought him all new clothes. I go, come on, let's go. Wait, they sell pants at Disneyland? They sold sweats. Sweat pants. I bought them. Were they OP? No, they were Mickey Mouse sweats, <laughs> probably. I bought him a shirt. So I bought him all the new clothes for him. He, all he had to do was walk around in wet shoes. So, oh, you didn't get him some billabong sandals? <laughs> they didn't have those back then, I don't think. Maybe they did. I don't know. You're getting the Rico feet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't spend like 50 bucks on clothes for him. I go, I don't care. I go, I'm not going home. <laughs> it was worth the 50 bucks just to be able to stay there, which was cool because then he got to see the parade, the electrical parade that night. So that's my quick little magical memory of him running through the uh-huh. water and getting all wet. And if you guys are listening to this on uh, YouTube, you will see all the pictures I have of him in the water all soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> you took pictures of him? <laughs> oh, yeah. I got tons of pictures of him all wet and everything. So, yeah, it was good times. And uh, I always say, you know, we were always saying, oh, you know, Bugs Land's closing, big deal. You know, it wasn't a big deal for us. Until I saw that post, I was like, oh, man. <laughs> you know what? It's a big deal to me now. And, and it really sucks because there's nothing for toddlers. In DCA, so basically, I'm pretty screwed out going to DCA as much as I can. You know, all I have is what monsters. Uh, After dark, <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Uh, what is it? Ariel, um, maybe one other ride, and that's it. My daughter cannot go on nothing else. So it is disappointing to see, but I don't know. I can cross my fingers, and maybe they might throw a kids. Something in the corner of Marvel Land. Who knows? We'll see. Well, you're getting the you're getting the Inside Out ride coming. I already wrote that and said goodbye. I don't need to <laughs> relive it again. Well, that's ride. all. You're, that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> I think they're they're the the you're you're seeing uh maybe a deliberate refocus of uh you know kids back to Disneyland. You know, Disneyland having has has the kid rides. You know, we're now. You know, DC. A the only thing that was known for kids was was Bugs Land. Right. You know, that Pretty was basically much. the it was basically the the uh, the uh, you know Camp Snoopy of DCA. But uh, so now with that being closed, it refocuses uh, you know the kids back to the dark rides and stuff like that. And go Fantasy Land up in there. What? <laughs> and Toontown. And Toontown, uh-huh. right? So. Uh, maybe it, I don't know. It's probably not that intentional, but it, you you will see a uh, you know a definitely a refocus back to uh, Disneyland for the you know for the families and stuff. Definitely. Well, speaking of um, other uh, just real quick, other than you know the there's still those go the Zephyr and the and the jumping jellyfish and that stuff over there that kids can go on. Yeah, no, but not with a, a certain height though. Oh, okay. Is there yeah. still a height on some of those? Yes. Uh, well, just you know, hurry up and. Grow her up. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say that, too. Tell your daughter to her to grow. <laughs> you have to grow up. <laughs> I'm going to do like Bart Simpson and just throw big lollipops under her shoes. Like, Let's go. <laughs> I was thinking of bugs that closing. Uh, of course, we talked about walls going up and everything, and uh, all the walls are up, and, uh, of course, the day after they closed. And uh, we have a uh, Stark Industries logo yeah, on we the weren't wall. expecting. Yeah, uh, we weren't expecting that, but that's cool. Yeah, uh, so... so Right off the bat, showing you what's gonna what's going in there. Yeah, so yeah. right next to Guardians, the wall has Stark Industries. Two, then, two out of the three walls has yeah, Stark Industries the on it. Entrance yeah. to Bugs Land has it, and the one over by uh, Cars Land has the Route 66 logo. So, yep, yeah, those are uh, already um, up. The walls are up and everything, of course, and um, we'll see what happens. I uh, I posted, you know, I am can't wait to see more details on what's coming and someone put Marvel. I was like, um, yeah, we know. Good job. My uh <laughs> yeah. My point was actually what is coming in that area. That person should be a journalist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyway, yep, that's going up or those are up and well hopefully we'll get more details maybe at D twenty three. Exactly. Calling it right now. Ooh. Calling it that this D twenty three is gonna be the equivalent of two D twenty for Marvel Land is what D twenty three in two thousand fifteen was for Star Wars Land. Right. 
And speaking of things going up, the mural over is, uh, in Tomorrowland is back up, back up on the wall. On, back and better than ever. It's shiny. Yes, very Gi- shiny. Yeah, so that's back up. It's not paint. It's not paint. We think it's just a, a wrap. That's what it looks like. Not a you know wrapping wrap, but a wrap up 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 there. Like like the, you would put on a uh, like on uh, like on the like on the food truck at right, PCA. Right, right, exactly. Except for it's on a wall. Yeah, because it is. There's no way that they would have painted that. No, in that much time, you know, it's, zero. There's yeah. zero chance that that got painted overnight. The only thing they could do overnight was wrap it. So right, that's what. So basically, they just put it. I think it's a brand new wrap. Because people were saying that, oh, the black cover is taken off and now this is back up. But I don't think that that's the way it was. I just think they took off the old yeah, stuff. I and think put that the new. The, this went over top of the black. Right. So it's the same as it was before. Nothing new about it. I think it. the black may have gone over the original. If, if, there, if, there was, if the original was an actual painting, the black may have went over top of that. And Maybe. then the new ra- uh, the new cling or whatever w- went over top of the black. Yep. So that's about it. So you that. may have the original still preserved under there, but we don't know. After the auction, they probably want to definitely conserve that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to take the whole wall out to get the original. Well, somebody dumb enough will pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather have the uh, the floating Mickey above ah, Star- yes. the Star Trader. You know when they when they fix Tomorrowland, I wonder what the heck they better put that shit somewhere else. Well, there's no reason for them to change that wall other than maybe paint it. I mean, unless they're going to go all out with Tomorrowland and completely re refacade it. I wouldn't be surprised at the fact that uh, I mean they didn't even they didn't even go that all out when they refacaded it for '97. So. I doubt that they would go all out next time. All right, so last week we were talking about the Mickey Sensational Parade coming back probably in January. Well, we got a confirmation that it is coming back because they are having auditions for the parade, which is actually this Saturday, September 15th. And um, so if they're going to be having auditions for the parade's coming back. At some point. Whether it's January or not, that's up in the air. But with them doing auditions now, uh now, usually how it works is that people that were in Sound Sensational before will probably get first dibs. Always. Always. But they will they obviously be, might be bringing some new people in if some people from Sound Sensational have moved on to, say, doing Paint the Night or something like that. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely an indication that Pixar Play will be going away when Christmas starts, most likely, and then uh, we'll be getting Sound Sensational uh, sometime, if not January, most likely definitely by spring break. I would. And then, real quick, I got a word that uh, Harbor Point and uh, TDA were going to be getting metal detectors for cast members. So that's interesting. I also saw somewhere else that they're going to be uh, doing uh, X-ray machines there too. Uh, most likely, that's what they would be doing in. Uh, instead of metal detectors? Well, not instead of. They'll basically have you walk through a metal detector, but instead of having a bag check, they just send you... Oh, x-ray. Like what they do at Universal. It'd be faster. Uh, Universal. I know Universal uh, employees were already doing that before they even set up their big new uh, security ring out front. <laughs> so, uh, But then the security ring also has uh, you know, uh, x-ray machines. So Yes, they do. I know that's going to put a uh, probably... Uh, put a shock in a lot of uh, cast members that might be bringing things in right. that are not supposed to because uh, uh, I know for a fact that uh, security for cast members is very, 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 very lax oh, and, really? that, and that they don't really even look in your bags. They just really? kind of go through the motions and you could hide cast members. Uh, uh, things could Things could definitely have happened if a cast member had decided they wanted to do something. Interesting. Well, long time ago. Interesting. So uh, this may go along with uh, you know some of the stuff that we've heard about their them having uh, active shooter drills and stuff backstage and a lot of uh, talk. So I don't know if maybe there's been some up up uptick in talk about a you know a possible uh, a shooting coming from inside wow. from cast member or something. So uh, this is definitely the next step in that. 
Dirty. Uh, it's just a good time to kind of reflect on the fact that uh, today is 9-11, recording on 9-11. And, of course, it was because of 9-11 that we have metal detectors and everything at Disneyland. Security checkpoints uh, went up within, what, days? We, a week? Less than a week of 9-11 happening? Does anybody yeah. exactly remember uh, how long it was between 9-11 and when the security checkpoint went up at Disneyland? It was days. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. And Not metal detectors, but searching bags. Right. Yeah. The temporary station. Right. No, no, no. The metal detectors went up because of San Bernardino, which right. has only been within the last few years. But it was within days of 9-11 that we got the security checkpoints at Disneyland. And I just want to point, I just want to point out because I saw it on Twitter that there is, there is no, there is a, there, the, there is a generation of children right now that don't know, uh, a, uh, a free, a free Disneyland basically. Oh, wow. That there's kids. I mean, you figure that at 17 years ago, Miggy doesn't know a checkpoint free Disneyland. You're right. His generation doesn't know a ge- his generation and younger does not know what it's like to freely just walk into Disneyland without feeling like that. You know, you're, and it's just it's it's hard to believe that it's been so long. And that there was even a point for a few years there just before the, fi- the fi- just before the 60th when I thought that things were getting better and that we might actually be, they might actually be able to dismantle the security checkpoints at some point. But then San Bernardino and it just everything went downhill from San Bernardino. It's funny that you say that he doesn't know because when they had the all-star game here at Angel Stadium, we went to the Fan Fest. And Is that the same one where you got stopped with the, the yeah. poster, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. I had a ball. Baseball. Oh, the ball, the ball. That's right. So I had to get escorted from Harbor Side to the other side to my car because I couldn't bring the ball in. So they had to escort me over. I'm like, <laughs> they think I'm going to throw it. I go, I go. Why can't I bring this ball in when you guys sell baseballs here? Yeah, they sell baseballs inside <laughs> the park. Literally, <laughs> it's just like you have those uh, those two groups with those big old sticks. Like you're not gonna beat somebody with that if you get mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking of that other time you they wouldn't let you come in with the poster. That was kiss. Yeah, the kiss game. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted you know you mentioned that it just made me think about that. I saw that earlier that yeah, there's a whole generation of you know up to teenagers now, 17 years since you know there's been a free Disneyland. Crazy. Well, it's about that time, and of course, I am the OG male guy, Michael, the OG male guy here. You know, I had to step back for a bit and handle life with family, you know, enjoy the life beyond social media and podcasts and stuff like that. But of course, it's time for the mail, and let's do it old school because I am the OG male guy, so let's get into this bag and let's see what we got. Hopefully, we have more than three, but, and if you're an OG listener, you should know what this is all about, so let's get into the bag. Damn, I hope, is that three or two? Oh, I was hoping. It felt big in the bottom. It really <laughs> did. But You this, know why it felt big in the bottom? Because this big old email from uh, <laughs> Wreck-It Rachel. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> hey, and I, I got to give her props. Um, I did uh, listen to the couple shows back, and she's been emailing. So that's a good name, Rocket. All right, so. Her subject line is my parade experience because last week she talked about being in the Halloween parade over there at Disneyland for the Halloween party. Oh, I got it. Did she write the story? Yes. All right. So here's the email about that. Okay. So I'm going to tell you about being in the Disneyland Halloween parade. It was 2013 and this was our third year going to Mickey's Halloween party. We always go in costume in my... Mom usually makes them. This year, our theme was Alice in Wonderland. I was the White Rabbit. My friends were the Queen of Hearts and the Mad Hatter. My mom went with us this year, and she was the Cheshire Cat. We always go early before they clear out the parks for dinner. So we had finished dinner, and we were making our way towards the Alice in Wonderland ride when we were approached by two cast members dressed in black with headsets, they said they really liked our costumes and would be and would we be interested in being in the parade later that night? Yes, for the Mickey's costume party <laughs> cavalcade. Wow! 
There was no hesitation in saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was just about to ask what parade this would have been. Um, and she gave us each a ticket to admit us backstage, and, and that had all the info for where and when. We were to go to Small World, the Small World Gate, and wait to be taken backstage at 8 o'clock. So we had just about an hour to kill before we had to be there, so we went on Alice and did a lot of jumping up and down. <laughs> when we got to the gates, there were two other guys there, and they were dressed as Robin Hood and Little John, and they looked amazing. Nice. Uh, they were also very happy. We knew who they were because everyone else in the park thought they were the What Does the Fox Say song. Uh, what? Are you serious? Uh, I knew Matthew Fire. was going to have a disgusted face. <laughs> You're, yeah, and you'd be right. I knew you were going to say How the hell you did not know that shit? What the hell? <laughs> I believe that was the year it was a big hit. That song that is. We were taken backstage by a cast member and she told us to put our phones away and if they came out backstage, we'd be Escorted out of the park. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good old saying every time we go back there. <laughs> all the floats were there waiting to go, and all of the characters were out in their spots, and they were in character already. We were about we were about three or four floats from the start, and we were going to ride in the fire truck that drives down Main Street. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. We got in the truck and basically sat there and waited. We talked to some of the characters. We were in front of the float where they were, where there was a bunch of random fuzzy characters dressed in costumes. There were a lot of bears. I'm not sure where from. Country bear, perhaps? <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably. The cast member came by to check on us and told us that when the parade started and we were out on the parade route, we would take our phones out and take as many as pictures videos as we wanted and then we had a and then we had a photo pass picture taken by a cast member and it even had a mickey photo bomb cool i see that so the parade starts and when those gates open everyone in the parade is already dancing and singing before we head out we had so much fun being in, the, in that truck waving to everyone we practice our princess waves <laughs> <laughs> a lot but we mostly just sang along with the parade song that was played over and over and over all the way down the route. <laughs> <laughs> we did uh, we did take some pictures along the parade route, but none of them were all that great. Ah. At least the ones we I took, I was too busy singing and waving, having the time of my life. When we got back to the Main Street gate, the phones went back down, and we had to wait for the rest of the parade to come in. Once it was over and the music stopped, we were escorted back to the gate that Mickey and Minnie come out, out of Main Street, and we were done. It was so cool, and one of my fondest Disneyland memories, or should you say magical memories, Ooh. perhaps the best. The only bad thing from that night was we were expecting some extreme Santa Ana winds and it made walking around the park difficult, so they canceled a few things like the fireworks, and some of the decorations had to be taken down, but we didn't care. We rode that parade high all night. It seems in the following years they stopped doing the costume cavalcade, and now the parade is totally different, but also way cooler. So I'm happy that we got to do it perhaps in the last year. Well, that's my story. Everyone have fun at the upcoming parties. Rachel. What year did you say that was? 2013. So that would have been the first one I saw because that was the Mickey's Halloween party that you took me to before I got my pass. Okay. So that was the only time I saw the parade was that year and then in 2014, which was the last one. Okay. Right? Maybe. Cause then, you... Well, because they had the cavalcade and then the next year was the, the 60th year and they kept... Oh, paint the night going through right. Halloween and they didn't have the cavalcade and then 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 after that they came out with the new parade. Okay. Or 
whatever. Maybe the new parade was that year. I don't remember. But I do remember the cavalcade. I didn't know that there were, like, people picked from the crowd. to be I, in. I knew they did that because I remember seeing people waiting at the gate. Before I was going to actually say something about them going to the gate at Small World before I read that, but I didn't say anything, and then she said it. But, yeah, I, re- I remember they had regular people just, uh, you were able to go. And be I mean, I saw, like I said, I saw, only saw the parade the two times, and I had no idea. The only thing I really remember about the parade is all of the uh, the characters in their Halloween costumes and stuff. She sent so, some pictures. Oh, that's cool. Pictures of her in the, well, that's from the truck. Right. And uh, she also sent pictures of uh, what they had, their costumes and. I mean, I, I really liked it because of all the characters in the costumes. Oh, hey, look. There's a picture of them with um, the Queen of Hearts and um, uh, Little John and um, Robin Hood. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. Not now I see why they got picked. Yeah, not the characters, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the ones they dressed up for the at the. Because I remember that the, uh, you know, the cavalcade had all the characters in the costumes. And then the, you know you could see that also you were able to see them at the when they had them at the uh, you know the thing at the ranch. Oh right, 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 right. When they would have the thing in the back. Yeah. And uh, but then all of a sudden you know they did away with the cavalcade, and then they also did away with the in uh, I think that in 2014 they had done away with the, the thing at the ranch. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that ranch made a big difference in Hall- uh, Halloween. Oh, I like I like going back there. It's pretty cool. But then I got the pictures of the characters, and then you had the uh, evil tent. Well, I mean, it was wasted space. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> it was wasted space. That it was good that they were using it for, yeah. you know, every now and then. And you draw a lot of. I mean, sometimes it'd be busy, and then sometimes it'd be empty. I mean, obviously now Star Wars is there, so I mean, at least it's still it's still getting used. We better get Star Wars pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> I just I wish they had been able to find a way to have done all that same stuff at a place in DCA I know. rather than you know they we could have done it without AP corners if they would have set up you know the what they were the same setup that they were doing. I want to thank you for your story there, Rachel. Yeah, that's a good one. Yes, that definitely qualifies as a mousepire magical memory. Now. This might be why the mailbag was really heavy at the end. Because we have another email by Mr. Knight. Food time with Mr. Knight, episode four. Uh Uh-oh. Yes. (laughs) Now, this is a long one. All right. He says, what's up, Mouse Pirate crew? So I know I missed last week's episode because of Labor Day. I needed that day to get some sleep and take advantage of not working. Well, that's cool. That's good. (laughs) Then I completely forgot about writing in up until I got the notification that the new episode of the new episode. Fired. I was like, oops. Yeah, my bad. I'll wait for the dirty award for, from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so real quick, I'm happy that Disneyland has now switched over to Halloween. Woo-hoo. But where is the cool weather at? <laughs> for, <laughs> for real. Can it be like 70s? Now and not the mid high eighties. All right, enough of that. I was able to make an unplanned and squeeze in and squeeze a trip in on Sunday after hearing the podcast on Friday. So you will get a couple of mixed items on this episode as I had something to talk about last week but forgot, so I'll double it up today. Ooh. Let's get this mix of spooky review going. So one of the places that I'll stop by for a quick bite to eat is usually Plaza Inn. Chicken. <laughs> and thanks to the podcast and several other posts on social media, I knew that they had one Halloween dessert, so I grabbed it. He said he grabbed the chocolate hazelnut yule log. I, he says, uh, I love all things chocolate, and then you add hazelnut. I was like, ooh, this is going to be bomb. <laughs> You're a Yule Log. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite the complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> so I take a bite into it, and I notice how hard and stiff it was, <laughs> and not light, not light or fluffy. <laughs> the hazelnut flavor was there, but it wasn't fresh. It tasted like it had been dried out. 
even the chocolate cake layer was just meh. I would I possibly maybe have gotten not a fresh one, possibly. So would I have this again? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I I wouldn't even try tasty wood that was freshly made. Dang, that's bad. The flavors didn't even render through at all. Would make me or convince to give it another shot. Would I recommend it to listeners? If it was, if I was to recommend it to someone, I would be adamant that they made sure they got a first piece, but not likely at all. Now here's the picture of the Yule log. Yeah, didn't they have that picture in? Um... Like when they sent the... Uh... Is it really a Yule log if it's being served for Halloween? Yeah, huh? maybe more of a Halloween log. Exactly. You know what? It looks first good. First of all, first of all. It does look good. I mean, it, it just looks like a rolled... It looks like a rolled... <laughs> a rolled uh, you know, one of those rolled pastries or whatever you call it. Uh, the color of... Hold on. Uh, can you move your brisk? I can't see. Okay, there we go. It looks almost like the gray stuff inside to be... Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if that's what that is. I don't know what the, what's the flavor? What did he say the flavor was? Uh, hazelnut. Chocolate oh. hazelnut. Yeah, I don't see that, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, it looks good. It but, does look good. I mean, but yeah, if it's not good, then yeah. He just I, got a tainted one, maybe. <laughs> Ew. I mean, you just have those moments where, you know, like you taste it a lot of times and you get one, you're like, uh. As long as it's not the taint. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh that's all alright so he goes on to say picture below is one of my favorite the fried chicken with double mashed potatoes with gravy and a biscuit Amen. Now, now this is a quick bite and favorite for me since you can walk in and usually get your food quick and eat and get moving some days the chicken is really good and some days it's lacking which can happen depends on who's cooking it that day. Actually, I, I would think it'd be more of how long it's been sitting out. That's true. I always go when it's busy. Yeah, You always get fresh food going or, in and out of the trays in the back. Ooh, in and out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we have uh, been to like Plaza and places that, that, that the cakes and the sweets and stuff have been sitting out. We don't know how long it's been sitting right. there. Especially it's in that center section, so it's like we're, we're, you know, I don't know. I also have one in the back. I have, however, been using this as a go to way too much, and I'm starting not to like it so much. So it goes there too much. <laughs> Try the pot roast. It's very good. He says, on this trip, the chicken wasn't on point. It just fell in... The seasoning in one piece was just overcooked. <laughs> it seems like one of my burnt ones that I had before. <laughs> he said, it's been too long since I've had a really good one, a really good piece of chicken from here. So would I have this again? I would say yes and no. I would probably need to crave chicken for me to have it again. Sorry, it's not, it's not you, it's me, and I need a break. <laughs> He's breaking up with the chicken for now. <laughs> um, we all get those bad chickens sometimes, but what I learned is that if you have a problem with any of your food, you take it back and ask for another one. Would I recommend it to the listeners? Yes, I would. The portions are big, and it's definitely is a bang for the buck. However, the flavor can be hit or miss to each their own. Yeah, he got one of those burnt ones I've had before. I, I You know what? The skin tastes burnt, but the inside was good. You know, my wife was eating it. I just didn't want to eat it, but yeah, you know it take like, it back. You know why it looks like that, right? Because they haven't changed the oil. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, that's probably exactly what happened. Is they're right. cooking in some oil. They were cooking in some old oil. They hadn't changed. I don't know what time he was there. If depending on the later you get there, the more they're not going to want to have to change the oil. That, right. And I'll tell you, you know, that, that's already dirty over there as it is without Ew. dirty dirty oil. You know, that's why I won't eat it. If uh, you guys go to fast food restaurants and you guys get fries and there's like all this little crap all over the fries. That's dirty oil. Exactly. <laughs> remember that, guys, next time you guys are eating. Yeah, I want you guys to remember that. <laughs> you eventually uh, taste the difference in your oils and know when it's fresh or not. 
So those that follow me on Instagram, I put this pic up when I was there and was supposed to have been on the last week's podcast. So I can finally give a good report at Lap White Lounge. First and foremost, the waiter was on point from the get-go, informative and knew what he was talking about and just had a presence to him about knowing his stuff and loving his job. So as some of my Instagram peeps will know about me, a good beer will almost accompany me and my food, and it's usually a Modelo. Ah. Do you have? Do you drink Modelo? Uh, you I know what? Know I'm, I'm not a beer drinker, but if I had to, I, I, I like it. It's pretty decent. A lot of people like that. I don't drink beer, so I've, I've never had it. I would say, like, it's as it's, it's good as Corona to me. I mean, I'm not a beer drinker, but. I was just wondering. I don't. Not a nasty aftertaste in your mouth. <laughs> so I ordered my standard Modelo on a cold glass and extra lime. Nice. It says, first waiter to ever ask me if I wanted a salted rim. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Big plus in my book. Some of you may remember from my second episode when I was when I mentioned that the lobster nachos, nachos just smelled weird and are off-putting. On a hot day. So if you did not know, well, you know now. You have options and they don't have to be lobsters or lobster. You can pick from. What about a rock lobster? Oh, (laughs) yeah, I'll take that. You can pick from chicken, steak, or just regular nachos. That was a big surprise to me. So we ended up ordering the chicken nachos. So don't get me wrong. I'll order the lobster nachos and enjoy them but not on a hot day. I'm curious because I've had, I have tried the lobster nachos. I've been there with people that have had it and I've tried it and it's good. I haven't tried the, the, the carne asada or the chicken nachos since they added those. I'm just wondering if the chicken is like a, uh, a marinated chicken, like it, oh, like at whitewater snacks. Cause you know, I really, you know, I've raved about the nachos over there. So I'm just wondering if it's the same kind of chicken or uh, if it, how the chicken is that's in that, uh, you know, just because it's coming obviously coming out of a different kitchen. Yeah, I haven't seen the chicken, but I've had the asada and the lobster. That's, that's good. Well, we have pictures here, so Ooh. I'll show you after uh, he tells you about the chicken. Yes. Now, the chicken on this was good, well-seasoned, and good portion placed on the nachos. This is an easy shareable plate. But trust me, I could probably kill one of these plates by myself with a couple of beers. So would I have this again? Oh, yeah. And now I'm curious and want to try the steak ones. Would I recommend it to the listeners? Yes, please do. And if any of you have tried out these steak ones, I would love to hear about it. They're good. They're very good. There you go. So he sent us a picture of the, the chicken nachos. And his uh, salted rim modello with three limes. Nice. Now the last one on the menu, and if you collect Disney stuff, especially Halloween memorabilia, we were able to get in a quick stop to Carthay Circle and enjoy and get our purple poison apple glow thingamabob. (laughs) So if you've never had a drink or sat down there, this is a fun spot to do. A bunch of oohs and ahs when it comes to Disney history and memorabilia. There's a lot of cool things that you can spot here. And the overall ambience is cool and laid back. Now the drink itself is pretty strong. It is delicious and does taste like an apple. And the Uh color of the drink and the glow cube just stand out and make it look badass. When you see it being walked across the room uh, to your table. So would I have this again? Yes and no. So as many of uh, many know or will find out at Carte is one of those places that always has a line of people trying to get in. Yep. And now that everyone wants one of those glow apples, the lines will increase. So if the lines are short, then yes. Besides how many apples can you accumulate, accumulate, before you've had too much alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> but I recommend it to the listeners. 
for the overall experience yes for the price of the drink no as this ends up being almost a 19 dollar drink you're paying for the cube more than anything <laughs> i mean like I, like i've said before if you're a completist and that's the only place to get that color more power to you twenty dollars ain't worth it to me that's for sure not for a glow cube no nope. <laughs> So for all of you that like my reviews or want to see other food and or adventures, go ahead and follow me on the Instagram. And it's Knights09, K-N-I-G-H-T-S-S-09. So until next time, always remember that when it's Halloween time at the parks, it's supposed to be fresh and not hot. So buy heat in hello, fresh, cold weather. I'm Mr. Knight, and this has been another Food Time with Mr. Knight and Adios Caballeros. Hi. <laughs> I like those guys. Now, where did he eat that? Which one? There's his nachos, where it's supposed to be his lobster nachos, where he says it's hot. Because I've been out in the patio, you know. He's saying, basically, you don't have lobster nachos when it's 100 degrees outside. That's, I had a 90-something degree. It's still good. <laughs> well, because I mean, he's saying it's fish and stuff. And oh, smells. Oh, oh. I've been hearing that, uh, that you know, they, they're they serving that shrimp kebab at uh, Bengal now, right? Yeah. I've heard the backstage of Bengal is super stinky. Is that why I've been spending the... more than they ever had back there? <laughs> yeah, the back, that, that little wedge backstage yeah. there. Is uh, I guess it's super stinky back there. It's either because of, it's either, it's got to be either because of the the new shrimp. Maybe they come with the shells and then they just throw the shells in the trash in the back or something. I don't know. Or what? Or if it's or if it's the cause I, I mean I don't think it would be the fish, you know, from stage door or horseshoe. So it's got to be that new shrimp. All right. Well, thank you for your food time, Mister Knight. Appreciate that. That was a good email. Hey, so you guys haven't been to the lounge yet, huh? No. So just we got to figure out when we all got more than $3 and then just try to go <laughs> to the line early and see if we can get in. That'd be cool. Because I can tell you the uh, the uh, solid rolls are very good. Very good. Lobster nachos. You can talk about heat, but I, w- I went into it when it opened, like a week as soon as it opened, and those nachos didn't last more than two minutes. So, you know. Well, I won't eat that, so. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, it's really good. Um, the drinks are still the same, still strong. Um, it's a good spot if you can get to the bottom and the top. It's just eh, whatever. But you need to lounge on one of those chairs. It's beautiful. All right. So our next email is from Giselle the Gazelle. Hey, my new best friend. <laughs> Her stuff you like whoop whoop. She's gangster. Disney gangster. Hey, Mouse Pyre. What a fun time I had with you guys on Friday. Thanks so much for letting me tag along and hanging out with me. It was so nice to walk around at night and get to know you guys. You were all so nice and hilarious. It was it was awesome seeing all the Halloween decorations for DCA. I didn't get a chance to see them last year. Thanks for showing me all the cool stuff. I can't wait for next time. Okay, she says, Yes, Anthony, I could not have chosen a better word Pixar Fest was indeed a very underwhelming, but still better than last year's Summer of Heroes. Amen. Pixar Fest sounded like something that was going to be huge, was going to be like huge, groundbreaking. It was just like, eh. (laughs) My sisters really liked it. I'm sorry. I'll stop hating on it. (laughs) Hey, Beth, the only thing I could positively say about Pixar Fest was uh, getting to go to that that parks blog event <laughs> dirty because you can't beat free food and you can't beat going to be able to do a uh, pal around with no line <laughs> <laughs> and feel like i was gonna die you went on it yeah I, you, you did tell me that yeah i did i told the story about how uh rebecca had a, i was like i was holding on to the seat and i wouldn't let go you were the one that moved no, hell no. Oh, okay. Hell, hell. Hey, what? I think I'm crazy. 
hey. I'm pretty, I, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I said that. On I the, think you did. I thought yeah, you were talking so. about the way that moved. No, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> hey, does those things have a weight limit? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, we should go on that. <laughs> all of us? Yeah. All of us? <laughs> crazy? I, uh, I didn't even like being on there with just Rebecca, and, <gasps> and I was scared. <laughs> That's funny. I would have loved to film did you, that. Did you stop at the top? Because I, I said on the outside. I don't know why I said on the outside. So I was looking in at the at the thing. So I felt like I was, you know, tipping this way. So I w- wanted to switch, but I didn't want to get up while it was <laughs> while it was up while we were there. And I just felt like if I got up, I was going to fall out the door that oh was going to magically open as soon as I stood up. It was pretty fast, huh? That's funny. All I know is that that experience told me that if the uh, Skyway still existed, I would not go on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm happy that I at least got to go on it when I was a kid. All right, she you said, get to the zoo. All right, she says, I'm excited to hear about Rachel's part in a parade. That sounds awesome. How did you get in a parade too, Diggs? Is there a secret sign-up sheet I'm not seeing? <laughs> Anywho, hope you guys are having a great week. Talk to you later. Love, G. Just like anything else, you just have to be in the band. <laughs> <laughs> You got to go to the the small world gate and uh, do the secret knock. Yes. <laughs> no, I was in band, and then we watched we marched up parade four times in uh in the uh, school year. So you did it four times. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, did it three times. Especially if you were in a uh, band in uh, California, you know it was uh, obviously an achievement to either march in Disneyland or march in the Rose Parade. We tried out for the Rose Parade. My mom got to march in the Rose Parade. Well, lucky her. We never made it, but we tried out. But you get to march in Disneyland. And I th- yeah. I think, I in a way, I think that's actually cooler. I'd rather do Disneyland than do five miles. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know that you could say something like that. And back then, you know, marching bands didn't have to pay to get in the park. Exactly. Not we like we actually, now. you know, we did three times, but we were lucky to do a fourth because we were actually in the football playoffs and we were going to be playing Servite. That's in uh, oh, okay. Anaheim. And so we said, hey, well, we're going to be there anyway. Maybe we can go to Disneyland. So we, uh, my director called Disney and said, hey, we're going to be playing. So blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, you guys could go hang, come down here. So we marched a parade, hanged out at the park for a little bit. And then oh, let's the do Disneyland rules. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. So. Now they charge each band of just to perform. That's sad. Yeah, it is sad because, um, you know, a lot of schools want to do it, but they can't afford like to go. Like 5,000. Plus, I was shocked, dude. Just yeah. to, like, I think it's what five thousand a march, and then if you want to stay and perform, it's an extra. I don't know thousand. Yeah, I that's don't what know I heard. what the price is. I can find out because that's, that's dirty. One of the bands. Yeah. Like, why would anybody even want to do it? Plus, you got to pay to get in the park. Yeah, all the kids have to pay the ticket price. So, it, it, yeah, it's crazy. I wonder if they charge you to be in the rose parade now, then too. No, <laughs> you like just get selected. They, it seems like something they would do. Maybe now, who knows? All right, thank you for your email, Giselle the Gazelle. We had a great time with you. You know what? Anytime we're in the parks, just come on down. You know we're there till the end, and you can uh, just chill there until you're ready to go home and all that. Yeah, I mean, if we knew <coughs> that, you know, you, you come by yourself, you know what I mean? We could have been like, you know, there. Diggs is always there every so often. You know, I've been going every so often. So hit us up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Anthony, guess what? What? Well, you heard me say, well, you heard Michael say that there was three emails. Yes. And I just read the third one. Last yes. minute. You know what that means. That means Dan missed a week? Yes. Wow. No. That's why I'm here to take over. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because I didn't hear from him today, too. And either. usually he texts me during the day. Asking whether we're recording or when when are you coming over or whatever. Right. Text him. The last time I talked to him was the other day. If you guys uh, saw posted on Facebook, I posted a, a link because his son is trying to raise money. Their school is trying to do a color run. Right, I saw that. And uh, we were talking about that, and I was telling him that I was going to donate some money, which I did, and then I posted that link. So I don't know where Dan is. Maybe he's... Um, Trying to put together the run. I don't know. I'm just kidding. That's why I say it makes sense if he's busy doing that, which by all means, yeah, take care of it. So anyway, no uh, email from Dan the Millman. 
Dirty Ward. <laughs> Dirty Ward goes to Dan, the no show mailman. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's uh, busy doing practices and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, he's got stuff. We all have stuff. He's got, a, he's got adulting to do. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> no. Unless he served a lot of homework at school, so now he's getting the aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> it's book report week. There you go. <laughs> that, guy, that guy wears a lot of hats. He does. You guys have any uh, comments, questions, your own tip of the week? If you have a um, food review... If you try something in the park that we haven't talked about, maybe because we don't know about it, all you have to do is email us. Mousefire at gmail.com. And uh, Dan, you owe us a uh, email and a half next time. Uh, bonus if you also have a food, food review. I'd rather have him owe me a churro. Oh, or that too. You <laughs> owe us all churros. And it's not like half churros like I did. Yeah, not like those churros. Uh, not three, not three dollars. Not not a, not a quarter of a churro. <laughs> uh, we each get a whole churro. <laughs> hey, that other half of the churro went to my dough whip. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, someone decided to uh, sneak in the email at the last minute. Yeah, it's not even really an email. More of a text message. More of a text message. <laughs> Nonsense for the OG mail guy. Nonsense. Long text message. So, Dad, the man <laughs> sent this in real quick. Weak sauce. Uh, he does confirm that he was busy. He says, Woo, just sneaking in that last minute email. Still keeping my title, though others appear to be shooting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Got busy today and didn't even realize it was Tuesday. That's funny because Tim the Tech thought yesterday was Tuesday. <laughs> he said, Did you record today? I like uh, it's Monday. He's excited. Hey, last week was the holiday. There ain't no need to be <laughs> trying to pull that crap this week. <laughs> Halloween time has begun. It's one of my favorites with all the new stuff they do at DCA. Have I seen it yet? Nope. Softball practices fell on Friday nights, and I spent Saturday at UCSD and the beach touring the school and getting a bad sunburn. How do Mexicans get sunburned? I don't know. I don't either. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to get to the park this Saturday, assuming the parking structure is open. Dirty. I don't park there. (laughs) Everyone should know what's up with that. Anyone heading to the parks this week got some fat time to check out and apparently some Haunted Mansion stuff to check out and possibly buy. Since I can't get my Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween party tickets because... The party date's sold out, and it's the only day my grandma from Iowa can go now, and we're short five tickets. Well, I mean, that'd be a tricky anyways, considering Mickey's not-so-scary Halloween parties in Florida, Dan. <laughs> I think that was his joke. Oh, it's a joke. Yeah, you know, my grandma's in from Iowa. We oh, tick, yeah, yeah so, okay, yeah, because, yeah, you know, those, those Floridians, you know. Question, what part of DCA is the best decorated for Halloween and what's your favorite decoration in that area? Hope to get back in the parks this week. Hoping to see some of you all there. Dan, still the email man. <laughs> <laughs> Holding on. The best uh, decorated area is... Uh, Coco. No. Oh, I like that. I have to say Cars Land. Yeah. Overall, yeah. You mean out of both parts or just DCA? DCA. He has DCA. Okay, yeah, probably Cars Land because, it, I mean, it's where all the focus is on Halloween yeah, decorations. So, I mean, I mean, you have to think that hopefully that if the Halloween party does move to DCA next year that they're going to ramp up, you know, up the uh, decorations all over, hopefully, like they, you know, like they do at Disneyland. But, well, I guess we'll have to see. I would say the second would be Buena Vista Street. I like the purple lights in the trees and yeah, all that. Guardian Tower. Yeah, that's pretty cool at night. Monsters after dark. <laughs> uh, my favorite decoration in Cars Land, oh, I would have to say, are the spiders with the distributor cap and the spark plug wires. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I thought you were going to say the gas cans. No, 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 no. I like the, the spiders. Those are pretty cool. Uh, the, the, the little paintings on the wall, the, the fake posters oh right right those are kind of cool uh because you know they started those i think last year on the wall and then uh you know when halloween was over they changed them to non-halloween posters yeah 
I didn't notice how they did that. If they just changed them back to uh, how they do that, I don't know if it's a another. You know, and you switch it in and out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how that works. The zombie but, uh, car. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I just w- I want to say that outside of uh, Cars Land, now uh, I the headless horseman is probably the coolest thing. Oh yes, yes. With the smoke coming yeah, out of the his g- nose, green smoke and the and the. Uh, or the white smoke and the green lights. Yeah, the and we're there like for like five minutes or so. Huh? I know. <laughs> That's a cool part too. I mean, we were we were there, and there was like not that many people standing there trying to get pictures. So it was like easy to get some pictures. Yeah, at night. it's nice to get pictures of the headless horseman without a bunch of uh, ruffians around. Right. And then, uh, uh, if you don't know, um, by Gu- Guardians, when it's nighttime, the uh, cast member brings out a frozen stitch as uh, one of collectors' uh, items. Did you see that? No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's just like the items in the That's in, cool. inside. With the stitch. It's pretty cool. With his, uh, I like his outfit, like his uh, space outfit, right? I think it is. I really couldn't tell what it was. Uh, it, looks, it, looks, it looks badass. Yeah. Gotta check that out. All right. Dan the Mailman, I'm glad you snuck in this email after we were talking all that crap about you. Yes, we were behind the scenes. <laughs> Do you have a special occasion coming up? Looking to personalize your trip with a keepsake? Create customized buttons for birthdays, engagements, family vacations, even bridal parties. Or just because. Check out ButtonsByDigs.com today. Buttons by Digs. Buttons by Digs. Remember, those are buttons, not pins. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of the Miles Player Podcast. Hey, that was a pretty cool show, and uh, we talked a lot of fat time. Welcome back to the... uh podcast after a lengthy uh hiatus a lengthy park hopper for different amusement park i know huh? musical like park hopper magic mountain hurricane harbor uh sea world la zoo uh, san diego zoo safari old town uh everywhere <laughs> sheesh actually this is the first time i have a lot of passes and i'm taking advantage of it well, we did have a lot of fat time with churros, and I can't wait to get back over there and try the rest of the churros and the. Ooh, what's next? I want that um, that rose, the rose tavern one. Yeah, I yeah. want that 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 dessert. That looks yummy. And then uh, Anthony said that there's a churro Sunday at Golden Horseshoe. Correct. So I'll probably try that. Ooh. I don't know. We'll see what happens before I get into a diabetic coma. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding hey, you got that chocolate i thought it was gonna get you but then you said oh i can't eat till seven o'clock so right. it made sense you know what i mean i just hopefully i come back again i you know won't be here this weekend as busy but hopefully we can meet up next weekend you know what i mean and do some more fat time because i'm ready yes i'm ready too yes and anthony is just there uh i'll be at the park on thursday of course this podcast will be coming out so by the time anybody hears it, you'll probably be already be gone. I'll probably already be gone. I don't know. <laughs> go on some rides. Park or I'm going to do the PCH Grill Buffet. Ooh. No invite. Dirty. But I definitely want to get in my uh, my poison apple mug and uh, maybe at least one uh, treat or something and see what how, how that how that is. Speaking of treats, hurry up and get over to Whitewater Snacks and get the BLT hot dog. You can try that out and uh, let us know. What you think? I'm not gonna go over there and try that, but I would have the bacon. That's what <laughs> I would have bacon, cheese, and be fine with me. But yeah, go over there before they close on September 24th. So basically, the 23rd is the last day for that uh, before they go through their refurb and opening later this year. And as we've been talking about Halloween times in the park, so go over there and go take your pictures with all the characters that are dressed up in their Halloween outfits. Yes. Cool. And, of course, you have all the Halloween snacks, and not just churros, but you have all the other type of foods that they're offering. So check that out. We posted all the treats and all the food they're giving out. So just check our Facebook page, and you can check the link to that post from the Disney Parks blog. You can see all the deliciousness that's going on over there. And, of course, if you try any of those treats, feel free to email us, mousefire at gmail.com, and let us know. How you enjoyed those treats. You don't have to give us as comprehensive of as an email treatment as Mr. Knight does, <laughs> but you can feel free to just give us a couple sentences or a sentence about how you felt about that, uh, especially some of the stuff that we haven't mentioned. 
Uh, if anybody happens to get over to the Grand California and tries one of those cake pops from the uh, from the holiday cart, we would like to hear about that or, or basically anything. So let us know. And don't forget, you can follow Mr. Knight on Instagram at K N I G H T S S zero nine, and you can check out all his food posts, all the yumminess that's going on with him. Wow. Of course, as usual, you can see all of the goodness and stuff that we share on the social medias. We are Mousefire on Facebook at Mousefire on Instagram and Twitter's Mousefire on the Snapchat and all that. Hey, I did some snappies when I was there at the park. Whoa, uh, food? No, of uh, the Hellas Horseman. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I actually did something while I was in the park. I should have done more, but I forgot. Is that what you were doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't know what snappies are. Social media is, I'm Tim, all over the place. Tim Fresh one? No, <laughs> no that's not it. <laughs> Now, of course, you can find me on Instagram at uh, Michael D I Z Z N E Y. Of course, you can see all my trips from other theme parks as well as uh, what we did on Friday. Um, you can find me, of course, if you guys don't remember, I do do unofficial events at Disneyland. Um, you know, because uh, people have been asking um, what's going on with October and Haunted Mansion. It is postponed until Dabber Day, which we don't care about Dabber Day. But, of course, we do have, for the first time only, and I haven't said it on the podcast. I posted it on the event page, but I really haven't said nothing. But, of course, this time in November for Glow Disneyland and Pajama Jam, we are going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's no excuses, right, man, for you not to be there. That's what happens when you get a signature pass, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, know, you know what, to be honest, um, after what happened last Friday to that crowd that I had and how insane they were and knowing that they didn't have to go to work, I'm going for a Saturday. Yes, I'm going to try for a Saturday. I mean, Sunday is, you know, half people will stay and half people will leave early. But let's see how that glow train will be this time. Hopefully get four carts instead of thir- two and a half. <laughs> but, of course, yeah, you know, I don't know. We got Star Wars coming back. I know it's Thanksgiving weekend, but hopefully you're not busy. It's not on your birthday. Well, I would honestly <laughs> rather have you it on have it on Thanksgiving than have it on Candlelight, which is what you keep having on my birthday, which is Candlelight. So... Uh, you know, it's kind of a candlelight isn't really a great time to be there. Well, much thanks. less, much <laughs> less uh, try to have parades, which of course we'll probably never be able to have again. Uh, we will, but we'll we have will. the uh, the uh, unofficial, official, unofficial parade. <laughs> yes, we're, we're gonna have a parade. Just as we're... long as there's uh, five feet in between each person, it's not a parade. <laughs> it's just a bunch of people walking together. Yeah, because I don't need security on all all ends of the parade. You know what I mean? That was just too much that day. Yeah, we don't need all their <laughs> We don't need their nonsense. But, of course, you can find me right there at a One Big Disney Family Entertainment. Type in the search buttons on Facebook. I don't get my uh, personal Facebook, so sorry. But you'll figure it out anyway when he yeah, posts. Yeah, you, you'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know you. He only has 10 of them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> But hopefully you guys see you, uh, Giselle. Of course, you know, it was fun meeting you guys. You, Jose Diggs, uh, it was just a great time on Friday. And hopefully see you guys the following weekend. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Baloo1313. I actually uh, think I posted something. I don't remember. No, you didn't. Okay, I didn't post You forgot. Anything. I forget every, every day. <laughs> but also, you can follow Buttons, Buttons by Diggs on uh, Instagram. There you'll see when your button order is going out. Don't forget to head over to... Uh, dgpclothing.com get your mouse player gear help support the podcast and uh, you can head over to YouTube check out the podcast there ah, and yes. check out all the nice awesome pictures that Tim the Tech puts up as you can follow along with the podcast and like looking at Mr. Knight's food and all that kind of stuff so you can check that out there just search mouse Pyre podcast on YouTube and head over to patreon.com slash mousepire and help support the podcast and try out that $3 Michael the Mill Guy special. Yes, because we need cords. We need cords. We need a lot of stuff over here. Things are going out. and they, See, you hear that? Oh, yeah, we need help. So help support the podcast. Oh, he's breaking Uh-oh. up. Yeah, you can hear it now. Head over to patreon.com slash mousefire. <laughs> it's not clean. Shut up after you did that. <laughs> I know. Uh, I tried. I tried. And until next time, remember, when we tell you you need to buy tickets by a certain time, you do what you're told. So for Paul Crew, Bo Darville, and J.J. McClure, I'm Anthony. I'm Michael the Mo Guy. I'm Diggs. Bye. Bye.
fulfill your destiny. Oh, that's all. <laughs> this podcast is intended for entertainment and informational purposes only. Audio, sound bites, and other clips are property of their copyright holders. All original stuff is ours and property of mousepire.com. In this week's episode, Halloween. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Stand by. Standing by. Incoming transmission. Beep, 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 beep. The heat isn't gone, but most of the Halloween party. Well, he. I'm happy. And you know what? Clap your hands.